Hey, what's up, brothers and sisters in Christ? Sorry about the noise. This is um, it's a bad thunderstorm going on right now, but uh, I have a message that I, I have to I have to relay to to everyone that has eyes to see and ears to hear. Okay, first I want to um, ask for forgiveness for not reporting this dream when I had it. I asked the Lord for a dream regarding two things. Um, one was pretty much about the rapture. You know, if he can like give me a revelation of of some things about the rapture. The second one was something that really I never thought about to ask before. I never even thought to think about it before. Okay, God, He's going to He's going to take the elect and the children. However, I never thought about what about after that will there even be an ability to conceive children during the, those years of tribulation because if he's, he's taking the innocent will there even be a possibility to have children during that time and i asked him if he can give me a revelation on it and i did have dreams that night but it was so vague not really vague but it was just it didn't really make sense so i just didn't think to you know report back to you guys but you know he's putting it on my heart that regardless of what I think I should report I should report it so have mercy on me father for that I, I pray that you forgive me and uh, before I, I, t I talk about this uh, say a quick prayer Lord Jesus I pray in your holy name that everybody that listens to this video will be um, I pray that everybody that listens to this video will be saved, will be uh, washed clean with the blood of Jesus, will have their eyes open, will have um, discernment to um, maybe complete the partial, you know, relay of this message. And and I just pray in your holy name that it brings glory and honor to your holy name. And I, I pray that everyone that sees this video also will have a deeper relationship with you and will be counted worthy to be raptured as well. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Okay, um, all right, this is going to be real quick. I had a dream about a man sitting in a chair. I, I feel like he was a Christian. And then I have, and then surrounding him were other men, like maybe four or five. And they all had axes. And you can pretty much guess what happened after that. They... They were torturing him, chopping him, in a real safe, in a real sick, sadistic way. I mean, I remember one part. This is kind of graphic. They, they, one guy chopped the back of his neck, not hard, but just enough to make a, a huge gash with blood coming out, and he bent over and smelt the blood and looked like he took a shot of heroin. He looked like he was like, oh, yeah. You know, he looked like he was, he was, had a rush from the smell of the guy's blood. And then they just finished. They just kept chopping and chopping and chopping. And I can see it, but I have a feeling that the Lord protected me mentally from, you know, the whole thing. I'll just say that, but I did see brains and everything else. Um, the second, the second part of the dream was, I guess, in regards to what I asked the Lord about what happens to children, and it just, it just now kind of hit me what it could mean what I dreamt about. Okay, I dreamt that I was with, uh, I was back in the states, and this is. It involved uh, my sister's children, my my uh, sister's children, my nieces or nephews. Actually, it was a nephew. It was a, it was a boy. Um, I'm not sure which one it was, but I he was in a sink. He was in a sink. I I could only imagine that he was being you know he was in the process of being bathed, but he was left alone. He was left alone, and. I saw him there and I saw him kind of go under the water 
and kind of struggle. And I went and grabbed them and held them. And in my and I I went to my sister. I was like, he was in the sink. You know, he he was he was in the sink. You know, and that's pretty much pretty much it that's relevant to that dream. There's other parts about it, like um, long lost relatives. We were all sitting together, you know, in a room. You know, relatives I haven't seen for years and years and years. But other than that, nothing really relevant to the what I asked the Lord about that I can imagine in my mind right now. So I just now interpreted what that meant. I didn't I didn't I thought it was just a nonsense dream, but what I interpret from that is the love for the children that they have after that will grow cold. And people will be, there will be so, so much evil and so much sin and, and so much heartlessness in the world that children will be left alone, left to fend for themselves or, you know, at best, at worst, killed and drowned and, you know, um, mothers not wanting to have anything to do with any children, you know, aborted, whatnot. Wow, that's crazy. I know. I don't know why I didn't see that before. That makes so much sense. The conception process will happen, will be able to happen. However, the love that the mothers had for their children when the Holy Spirit was in the world won't be there. So they will be cold and allow them to fend for themselves or just kill them or whatever. Abort them. So that's, that's what I feel like the Lord has... Um, given me in regards to that that question what will happen so yeah that's pretty much it y'all uh, i appreciate y'all listening to my um my my dream testimony and just just stay in the, stay in the lord stay in the word every every hour ask for forgiveness ask the blood of jesus over your life over your wedding garments just because I really honestly believe we don't have no time and we only get one shot. Once that one shot, once the snap of the finger, that blink of the eye, that twinkle of an eye is over and, we'll, and God forbid you're still here, that's it. So set a clock, set a set an iOS app reminder, whatever, to pray every hour that that you, you be clean and you be rapture ready and you be worthy, counted worthy to, to be taken to heaven with him when he comes for his church, not by, you know, your works. Or anything that you may boast about, but because of his works, and because he died on the cross for our sins, and because of his grace, mercy, and love. So yeah, that's all. That's all. I pray the blood of Jesus over all y'all, and y'all be safe, be smart, and just be um, be good to one another. Peace.